Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm so excited to let you know that we finally released the app theming feature. It's been a long awaited feature and for good reasons because it's going to make it so much easier for you to build beautiful internal tools and admin panels that can rival the looks of many customer facing applications today. So now your internal tools or admin panels don't have to look old and ugly but they can actually look really beautiful and delightful to your end users. Today's video is going to show you exactly how to use Use the theming feature. So we're going to break this video down into two parts. First, I'll start by showing you how to apply theming to new applications. Then I'm also going to show you how to update other applications to use the new theming feature. That is applications that we built um, six months ago and older. So that's all we'll be taking a look at in today's video. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, so right here, I have an application that um, I built a couple of days ago, and I'd like to apply a theme into this application. So it's a simple application that displays a bunch of metrics as a dashboard. So to be able to use the new theming feature, what you need to do is click on any empty canvas area. For example, if you have a widget selected, you're going to have the properties of that widget showing up on the pane to the side, but just click on the free canvas area you have right there and you should be able to see the theming properties for that application so let's go into select a theme um, conceptually a theme consists of um, a color set that's the primary color and the background color it also consists of a font style border radiuses and box shadow so that's the component that makes up a theme today on absent so let's go select one of the previewed themes or we can make our own as you would see shortly so i'm just going to go on to the um, theming properties and let's go to change the theme i'm going to use this blue theme that is called sharp i'm just going to click on the apply theme and you can see that the application looks different so we've been able to select a theme and have it applied now the best part of theming is that it is totally customizable so you can make it look and feel exactly the way you want especially if you already have a branding or a brand guide you follow for colors and fonts so we can head back here and um, customize this theme we have selected so for example i can change the font to ubuntu because i really like the ubuntu font and you can see that the ubuntu font is automatically applied um, other things we can change is the primary color for example um, i can change the primary color but i don't want to change it but let's go change the background color to something a little bit darker so that we have a contrast between the actual cards and the background which looks nice um, we can also update things like the border radius, for example. So we have this a little bit rounded and I'm just going to throw in some box shadow right there to give it a card feel. I think I'll pick the second set of box shadow because I really like this. So this looks really nice and it's so much better than the default theme that was there on the application. And uh, I love the way the, the app looks. So you can actually go in and tweak things to your heart's content. Um, for example, I can change this to a green looking theme or we can also go in and make this yellow for example. So I can also make this yellow. Everything looks nice exactly the way I want it to. Now, after you've done building a theme, probably picking a theme and customizing it or building one from scratch, what you can do is go in to save that theme as a custom theme. So for example, I can head back here, click on the three button menu and click on save theme. So let's give this theme a name. I can say my awesome theme. All right, um, I think I don't have to have spaces here. So let's just go for awesome theme. All right, so I'm going to go ahead to save this and we have my awesome theme saved. So if I go back to change theme, you can see that in addition with the pre-built featured themes we have here, I also have my awesome theme saved right here. And I can go on to reuse this theme in other applications or in other pages I create for this particular application. So that's theming in a nutshell. Now, something I would like to show you here is how to change the theme for a particular widget. So here we have a theme applied for the entire application, but in certain cases, you might need to change the theme for a particular widget. Say for example, we have the delete button right here and we might want to set the color of the delete button to red so that we signal to the end users that this button performs an irreversible action. So I can go into the delete button, for example, 
um, by clicking on it then go to the color of that button and set this to red for example so we can set this to red and here we have a button that has been styled differently from other widgets we have on the application now something you notice is that we have an orange icon or indicator here which says that the value of the button color is different from what we have in the theme and this might be a mistake or it might be intentional so in cases where you would like to revert back there's this button over here to reset the value to be the default from the theme so i can click on this and this goes back to blue but let's go in to set this back to red and we have a nice delete button here so this is how easy it is to apply theming to applications you've just created. Now, if you have other applications that has been lying around for over six months and you like to update them to start using Timin, I'm going to show you how to do that in this part of the video. So let's head back and I have an application that was built about six months ago, which is the PG Admin app. And I like to use Timin in this application. So in order to use Timin, it's the same drill go click on any empty part of the canvas and here you have the theming properties opened up um, i'm just going to click on the view button here so that we have some data in the application all right and then let's go to change the theme so i'm going to be using the pink rounded theme in this application but you quickly notice that not much changed in the application yeah that's because it's an older application so let's go on to make sure that it conforms to the theme we have selected so I'll need to go to each widget, for example, the table widget, and let's scroll down to its styling properties. I'm going to make sure I have the border radius matching the theme border radius. So I'm going to reset this value, and you can see that it is now rounded. Same also goes for the box shadow. I'm going to reset this value, and now it's going to have some shadow as you can see. Same also goes for all of the other widgets. So for the list widgets, I'm going to do exactly the same thing right here. Let's make sure it is matching the values for our theme. Same also goes for the tab widget here. All right, let's do this. And I'm going to do this one more time for the container widget we have right here. All right, and now we have our application looking nice. Um, you can also go ahead to do the same for the buttons here, but I'm going to skip that out. The last thing I'm going to be showing you here is the select widget. And that's because the select widget is an older widget and it's actually deprecated. That's the select widget we have on this application. So we have this banner here saying that the select widget you're currently using is now deprecated. You can drag a new select widget and configure it in place of the deprecated widget. So this is not going to have any theming properties as you saw earlier. It doesn't have all those options to reset the value back to the actual theme value. So what I will need to do in this case is um, make sure I have the bindings copied out, delete the select widget and drag in a new select widget in its place. And then I'll be able to style it according to the theme color. Or in fact, it's just going to take the exact theme color. So I just wanted to point this out in cases where you have widgets that are so old that they are now deprecated. All right, so let's head back to the main application. And here we're back. So that's how easy it is to set up theming for your applications, both newer applications and older applications. Now, if you'd love to learn more, we actually made a video here on how to set up authentication using Superbill. So go check out this video here to learn how to set up custom authentication or custom login workflows using Superbase. I also made a video right here on how to import an application using Git. So go check out these two videos to learn more about using AppSync. This was a really nice video and I'd love to see the kinds of themes you come up with for your applications. Do share them in the comment section or you can send me a message on Discord. I'd love to see your applications that you have themed. All right, that'll be all for today's video. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to get subscribed and take care. Bye-bye.